Good afternoon, ladies, gents and Pikachus. I uh, just thought I'd give you a little update on my uh, criminal neighbour situation. Um, I was talking to the housing associate person and I was saying to them, look, I could have actually put my key out there as a, a bait kind of thing, knowing that he would take it and I've set up a camera and then captured it. And if had I entrapped him in that way, I would then have evidence. But I was like, why should I have to do that? Why should I have to remodel my whole day against creating a scenario in which I entrap someone into a crime I've baited them or provoked them into doing? Like, it's kind of immoral to do that, even as a last resort. I mean, it would work, yes. Um, but I just don't feel like, as a resident, I should be forced into doing things like that. And the irony is, she said, in a perfect world, you wouldn't be. I was like, really? So yeah, I guess uh, this video is about if you've got a repeatedly fucking annoying criminal neighbour who just won't leave you alone, this is the kind of thing you're going to have to consider because as we've seen, or as I've seen anyway, I haven't reported on all of it, the police are toothless, they won't do anything. The two times they came round here for me, they actually tried to deter me from making the report. And then I found out later, it's because crime goes down if reporting goes down. So uh, I became a statistic in that way so I hope you won't become a statistic in future and if this does happen to you you can think about setting a trap like that to create and manufacture this evidence that you're later going to need to get the police to actually react to any crime because that's the thing they don't react to crime now they just want to punish people and they want you to have done the investigation by the time you call them so um, unless there's loads of witnesses willing to go on record that's the thing a lot of the time witnesses are terrified they won't go on record no matter what they've seen uh, let's not say anything against them they're just terrified they shouldn't have to either this is a situation that the police and the government are creating because they're allowing the breakdown of law and order and we just need to accept that as citizens you know we've got two options we can either shore up security and um, get ourselves into the habit of always being really really careful and cautious when we go out or the other thing we can do is to apply pressure to the government and the police to do things and in the meantime take the law into our own hands so obviously that should be avoided that's criminal as well but i mean they're not punishing criminals they're hardly going to be punishing people who react to people who are criminals it's a lawless state isn't it it's almost like the bad guys get to say if we can fuck up morality and get everyone to act like scumbags then it's cool everyone's as bad as each other and they're all equally culpable but i don't want to be equally culpable so i will not be doing that no matter how much he provokes me into it i could just literally throw him his fucking eyes and blind him for life but it's like no i'm a christian now i'm done with that lifestyle um no amount of provocation is going to change the fact that the fruits of me are good i'm not going to do that so I really have to and uh, I just don't think he's got it in him to threaten me in that way where I react to him and uh... anyway that's the end of this video hope you got something out of that and I'll see you in the next one bye